the MCG. It's Melbourne and the Blues. Roger and I, I think we've been to one Melbourne versus Carlton game. Huge ramifications for this one though. The Blues can miss the eight, the Ds can miss the top four. How are you feeling? Well, it's never turned us against each other before. We've never had that blue, usually because Carlton have been irrelevant for so long. Yeah. But now that this has top eight ramifications for both of us, maybe this is the first time there's a rift between the McDonald's, yeah, Roger, and sort of relationship. Um, but I am, conf I am relatively confident that it will be closer than what people think. See, I see it going two ways. I think the Ds could come out, make a statement, win by 40 points. I think the Ds could come out, not take their opportunities. This could be one of the most frustrating games I've ever been to, and the Blues pinch it. I'm going to go the latter. I'm going to go the Ds by 33 points. Comfortable victory. Bring on the Lions. Who are you tipping? Kennedy, Hewitt out. Lucky Cripps still in, but then Chera the laid out. Uh, I think we're going to get smashed in the mid midfield battle, but hopefully we can keep it close, and I reckon the Ds by maybe two goals. Ds by two goals. G Pat, who are you tipping? D's by like five goals. Uh, Sigorn and Christian Petrarca going straight down to full forward. That's all right, Gavin Weeders. I reckon it'll be uh, Weeders on Gorney. It'll be a classic contest. This is a massive game. The D's can drop out of the top four. The Blues can drop out of the top eight. They both need a win. Midfield depleted. They've thrown ah. Sam Doherty in the guts. What a move. Don't you don't. Cribs, Doherty and Fetterfield. What a mix. Jake Melcham, lively early. Um, he's had a couple of shots on goal, and he's just converted a little snap opportunity. Um, it's been all Melbourne for the first seven minutes. It's good. It's a great start. It's a perfect start, but I don't know. If Jake Melcham is a key forward, that's a little bit worrying. Great bit of pressure by Clary Oliver. Gets to holding the ball. Gorney is lining up. Missed a couple last week, so would like to get off to a great start this week. Come on, Maxi. If he wants to be the full forward next year with Grundy in the ruck, he's got to start nailing those. It's frustrating the chances he's been missing. And Paddy Cripps has been booed by the Melbourne supporters. What on earth? He's been booed. He's a thug. Are they just Melbourne supporters I weren't aware? Massive Calamar Chief. It's a real nothing first term. There's just nothing happening here at the G. Someone <laughs> kick a goal for crying out loud. <laughs> Harry Mackay, run down tackle on Brayshaw. Goal for the, in the book. For goal the first the ball, goal for the Blues of the term. Quarter time here at the MCG and the D's trail by a point. I don't know how to sum that quarter up. Nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. We had a lot of opportunities at half forward. And I guess I'm not massive on potting our forward entries because I think it's something we can fix up. But just that method of going long to the pocket is very, very frustrating. Melksham's probably our best forward so far. They haven't even Yeah, they haven't even fired up at all. And the Blues have been in third gear as well, so a bit of a nothing quarter here at the MCG. Um, and we trail, which is frustrating as well. So, Cosie Pickett lays a good tackle, gets holding the ball, and then runs around from 50 and slots the sausage roll. Looks like he's repping one of uh, Jaden Hunt's headbands as well. The D's are back in front by a goal to start this second term. Harry Mackay goes bang, he's got his second. Um, he was just free inside 50. May came up to try and I don't know, make an impact in a, in a contest that he didn't have to make an impact in. So they've gone all the way end to end from a stoppage as well. Very frustrating. The connector Spargo lining up. What's he got in the kit bag? Can't Sparg. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Shout out to Charlie Spargo's brother Abe, one of the all-time great men. Jake Melksham's picked a great time to start playing some good footy. That's his second goal for the day. He's been... Looking like our best tall forward and small forward at the ripe age of 31 32. The D's are out to a seven point lead. Surely, as a bit of goes all right alumni, yeah. Zachary Fisher, he's a hard man to. You can't hate that goal. No, I can't. It's a great snag. He's one of my favourites, Zachy Fisher. But how are we not stopping that? It's just frustrating. It is now 23 to 22. Sort of last couple of minutes of this second turn. Who's taking a hang? We on the half-time siren. The and there's a dust on in the middle. Bailey Fritch must kick this. Come on, Fritta. Yes! Bailey converts. 
and she's on in the middle of the G. Half time here at the MCG and the D's lead by eight points. Very frustrating half of football, Roddy. Very frustrating. And that last goal to Frida, super deflating. Sucked all the air out of me. I'm having a quick goal to Harry or Charlie boosts me back up like a balloon. It's only eight points for you. The third quarter is about to kick off. The D's need to lift. The Blues need to lift. I wonder what sort of second half we're going to get here. Come on, Dees. Gorn, an ominous target inside 50 if he is going to go forward. <laughs> but when he has the shots, he just doesn't convert. And there's a lot of full forwards around the comp that can't convert either. But it's frustrating that he can't be a little bit more accurate. Come on, Gorn, we need this. Yes. Yes, Maxi. That's better. They're engaging in the sort of game I thought was an option, and that is the frustrating... Dower. Frustrating dower. Arm Arm yeah. Close really contest. Arm Not a shootout, but we're sort of going goal for goal. Our premiership defence doesn't let leaky snags like that get kicked. It is so frustrating. Jack Jack one he's got on the end of that. And he's pulled it back to a kick. We walked in hoping it'd be what happens when the unstoppable force meets the immovable object, but it's a lot of what happens when the stoppable object meets the immovable force. And Malcolm goes bang! As we speak, Jake Malcolm kicks the next straight out of the centre clearance. It just feels like we have to work so ridiculously hard for a goal. And you can do it a bit easier. Goal <laughs> kick two in a row and they are back in front by a point. It's been a shocking game, but we could have a ball burst from a finish. Or you could kick the next four and just burst away with it. Who knows? I'm sick of this. They're honestly... I'm going to make some big statements if we end up losing this game. Jack Martin marks 25 out directly in front. Cannot miss. Cannot miss this. Jack Martin rolls in and kicks it. The Blues kick out to a lead. It's our turn. We've got, we've, we're having our turn at the moment. We've got the ascendancy. I feel like it's the first game all time where we've got a lock in our half. Now let's see if you can get it back on your terms or if we can keep capitalising. Missing multiple chances, Malcolm, uh, Benny Brown, just missing chance after chance. Down by four, the Blues have it inside 50 now. It's a very frustrating third term for the Ds. The Ds are back in front, they kicked a goal, which wasn't allowed before. Because Ben Brown, he, he played on and he was out of bounds, but he didn't like run around the boundary. He was running back into play. I don't know how that wasn't just play on, but they called it back. And then we finally got it forward and Petrarca's kicked from the boundary. We're up by two points. I've never been more frustrated at a game since middle 2019, I reckon. Three quarter time here at the MCG and the Ds are up by three points in a scrappy, low scoring, negative affair. I'm so close to losing my boil if we lose this. For me, if we don't make top four, we can't win the flag. So that's why I'm riding every fifth bump and brawler at the minute. Roggy, the Blues have made a contest out of it. We've made a contest out of it. This is a good, this is a local level style of football where if you know you're clearly not better than the opposition, you turn it into the biggest crap you possibly can. Contest after contest and hope you can fluke your way to a win. It feels like that's been our strategy and it's win to a degree, but I just think your class will outshine. I'm not so sure about this. I think it's going to be down to the wire. It's going to go goal for goal. It's going to be a scrap off. And geez, I hope we have our noses in front when the whistle goes to end this game. It all comes down to this, Dees. How bad do you want it? Five minutes into the last, and it looks like it's going to go down to the wire. The Dees are up by four points, but we've been pretty average in close games this year. We almost, in recent times, find a way to lose. So this is going to be a big test and a good practice in these tight games to, to find a way to get it done. Jack Martin has a free in the goal square, and he will put the Blues up. Seven minutes don't, into the last quarter. Don't, don't declare it's a goal, Doss. It may not be. Jack Martin. He's kicked it. I am furious. We're in this position again. We're just not good enough. I just don't think we're good enough this year. This is just... Oh, so, oh I'm so frustrated. Uh, instant replies. You're behind them so long. They finally hit the lead, and then in the blink of an eye, the lead's perished. Collingwood were saying last week, because we were walking it out of the centre clearance, um, I heard one of the Pies players say we almost didn't want them 
we almost didn't like the pies almost didn't want to score again because yeah. it would go straight to the middle yeah uh, yeah our, our set of clearance work is starting to really hum it's just there's so many elements of our game that are lacking an instant reply to Ed Langdon and the D's are back up by four points oh I hate this I hate this so much Clary undisciplined with the free Harry a little bit leaving a little bit to be desired with the miss it is Three points here at the G. Fisher's had a shot from 50 and kicked it, but we reckon Petty got a hand on it. Touched on the line by Petty. Two-point ball game at the G. Fuck, it's so frustrating, this fucking sport. <laughs> oh, the guys are right, boys. are having an absolute mare on a Saturday night. Jack it's Martin. like 20 minutes to go. Jack Martin puts the Blues in front. 16 minutes into the last term. I cannot endure another 20 minutes of this. I can't do it. We don't win the close ones. We have been so average today. We almost don't deserve to win. And I reckon our season is over. <laughs> Big calls, <goal>, son. <laughs> Hang on. We're just not good enough. Yeah, we're not. Might be we're, no, we're not good enough. We need the instant reply. Don't. Living in the Blues forward 50. Ben Brown marks and will kick from a slight angle. We must kick this to reduce it to a point. To keep our top four chances alive. Ben Brown. Jimmy Bellion. He's kicked it. Come on, Tees. 22 minutes into the last, this is excruciating. Still another 10 minutes to go. This is good. Like, when there was only two goals making to quarter, it was going to 31, 32. He's got eight oh, to go. Harry Mackay for the game. For this angle, I give him nearly no chance, please. Harry. And to put the Blues into the finals. Where is this little Filipino migrant right? Harry Mackay with the game on his boot. Looks good. Harrison Petty single-handedly keeping us in it with his fingers. Charlie Kerno for the game. Charlie, you bastard. I can't even move. We've lost again. <laughs> line through us. Put a line through us. We're not good enough. We're not good enough this season. I've been waiting to say for a few weeks. We needed to win the last two to sort of solidify and crush any doubt after a 10 0 start. How long's left? We're done. Oh, Jake Melcham lining up for his fourth. He'll kick it from the goal square. He's given 50. This to reduce it. Come on. One point ball game here at the G. Clearances have been elite, but our scoring hasn't. Roggie's bloody nervous. Oh, we had a, it felt like a fucking seven on one there. You fell and killed the footy. This is the biggest clearance of the game. Got to get it in and score. Come on, team. Come on. Come on, boys. Find a way. Find a way, boys. Find a way. have a shot or hit a target, he did neither. He needed a shot to make it a draw. Dawn, Clary, Melcham tackle. Put in the ball. Kerno's gonna mark. Mackay's gonna mark. A minute to go. A minute? A minute, 50, 52. 52 seconds, throw in on the wing. Top four and top eight on the line. <laughs> Looking for a mark! Brown! We just need a score! Pickett! It's floating! Yeah! Come on, Gussie Pickett! There'll be 20 seconds to go. 
far out, Gotti! Can't be long left, can't be more than 20 seconds to go. This clearance is everything. The clearance wins the game and the Blues go forward. Salem, Petrarca, we're nearly home. Yes! They've done it, come on! Oh my God! We're not making the eight. <laughs> oh, Roger. I cannot believe it! We never find a way. We never ever find a way. And we found a way. Shit. Oh, I feel so bad for Roger. I feel good for you, mate. Oh, <laughs> top four is still a chance. Is it <laughs> for another? game day vlog boys and girls I cannot believe what I've just witnessed I literally put a line through our season I said we were embarrassing because <laughs> I felt like we were we got out done out muscled out hustled by a Carlton football club without some key pillars in their side full credit to the Carlton footy club for that performance they almost clutched well a, a must needed victory for themselves and they probably deserved it in the end um, and I don't think we deserved it. So it's a bit weird because last week I felt like we deserved the win and we lost to the Pies and this week I felt like we didn't deserve the win and we've won. So I guess that's football, there's swings and roundabouts. But by golly, that's, that's given us a chance of finishing in the four. Um, but we really need to start stepping it up. Our method is in all sorts at the minute. Going forward, it's just been a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a shambles. Um, but anyway, that's it for another another game day vlog. It could be the last one for the year. Depends where the D's finish in finals. Because um, that's our last MCG game. So if it is, I appreciate all of the support on the game day vlogs this season. But hopefully we get a final in Melbourne and I can head along and, um, and whip the boys home. But once again, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in and I'll see you all for some more content, some finals content very, very soon. Jesus.